welcome to another ride along with goggles and uh, today we're outside for now and well just on the outskirts of town kind of at the uh, coastline mining we picked up a load of quarry processing whatever that is <laughs> I guess that's uh, I don't know you guess is as good as mine anyway um, maybe somebody will tell me uh, we've got the Ford uh, LTL 9000 from Blueprint Modding and put the uh, paintable skin on it, uh, the Connolly one, just stretched it out to come onto the door before it drops down just to get, you know, past all the Ford logo and everything else. And um, I've got a trailer. I've had this trailer for a long time, got to be two years or more. And I think I've only ever used it once. And I thought, well, with all this quarry and gravel stuff starting to happen here with uh, ATS expansion uh, I better grab it and get out and get a rip in it and maybe recon will put it in the game and uh, it's pretty cool there's all kinds of axle configurations uh, you could have quad quad and I just went for triple triple and uh, what I'm going to do the trip isn't super long and somebody was asking that I show what my graphics settings are right now. So I'll do a real quick rundown on the graphics. Just take a minute. But I wanted to point something out on this truck. That the fifth wheel has two locations on it. And this is the forward location. And the frame just clears there. You can turn and everything without interference. Um, at least on the flat you can. And maybe they've made it a no collision zone. I don't know. We'll find out. But it really, you know. It sharpens up the handling of the trailer around corners when the fifth wheel is forward like that, especially when you get a tritum. Because what happens with a triaxle is it changes the center of where you're steering from. You know, puts it about, you know, the steering axis would move to the center axle as opposed to being between the two rear axles. So you add that axle ahead, and you know, it actually makes it steer a little sharper, but. It typically has the fifth wheel is back between the second and third axle instead of over the middle one like this. So it's kind of neat. I like it. Um, okay, graphic settings. Let's take a real quick look. And yeah, not super high. I don't have it cranked to the to the tilt like I used to because I'm doing the um, reflection at three and reflection scaling at three. So you'll see I have reflection scaling as custom. That's set in the config.cfg, but I'm just, uh, and I got my scaling down to 200. I usually run that at 400. The anti-aliasing is at uh, ultra. The screen space, uh, SSAO, I turn that off because I don't understand what it's about. Uh, it's my screen size, 2560, 1440, or resolution rather. I'm running the 60% uh, uh, refresh rate. Vertical sync is enabled. Uh, color correction and sun shafts on. And then the custom scaling. So everything is high. Till we get down to shadow quality, I put it at medium. And I might, oh, I us try to move that back to high right now. Oh, yeah, right here. I want to move that. I don't, I don't like the medium. Uh, mirror resolution and mirror distance are both at medium. So those are the real big changes. And um, that's just to help me run the uh, uh, reflection at three, because the reflection is pretty intrusive. So, yeah. Oh, light visibility range, that's custom. It's set in the config. I have it at three or four, I think. So that's basically it. There's nothing, you know, magical about it. It's a pretty good video card, but the game engine is so bad, the video card is having to do a whole lot of work with limited uh, game resources available to make its job be easier. So anyway, let's uh, get on with it. So as befitting a, a, a LTL 9000, we got a 3406 B in here. And Just going to try and do a U-turn right here because what the heck, let's see how this truck coupling to the trailer works out where it is. Should be fine. Uh, 
now. Oh geez, I turned way too wide, but we might clear a little shock here. Is this one with, oh yeah, it's got the guardrail on the right side, so we'll just clear that and we'll be good. No, we just got those tires past it. Nice. Yeah, it came out of there pretty good. So getting out of this mine, that's a whole other matter. Which way are we going? We're going to the right. That little flickering on the uh, scenery right there. Now I think we turn right here, yeah. Now this uh, site here is kind of cool to come into. And I've brought, uh, I've brought turnpike doubles in here before. And here I'll show you, like I can, you, you don't have to worry with this trailer, it's so handy. But with the turnpike double, you gotta get outside here and you gotta come up to every conceivable wall you can get to you know down at the end behind us there that dumpster you got to get right wide come in past the guy sitting there cross the front of that building just miss the dumpster joggle out but he can't get a turnpike double in here pretty easy i've done it quite a few times actually And same here when you're coming in, like you're going in and out of these cars with the corner of your bumper, kind of, in here too. But, you know, we're going to look at the, you'll have a mile of clearance here with this trailer. Oh, that uh, loader's floating. Where is it? Yeah. It's off the ground. But I really like the uh, the high shine on the hood. The detail we're getting on the on the hood reflections. So we're going to Ogden uh, Rail Export. Oh, I should have showed you where this place was on the map. But it's uh, the northwest end of town, I believe, in Vernal. And there's the other, what's the other big site out there? Is it a Kems or something? There's another big site out this way. Oh yeah, and with the triple low boy and things. Turn right. If you, if I had kept going, I would have went up. Oh, I better show you this because this is a top tip for. Uh, it doesn't matter with this trailer, but I'll get the map out. So if you've got a real long trailer on, don't turn here. Go up here. This corner is a little easier, right hand turn, and so is this one. And if you're going that way, well, I guess that would be the way to go. But this corner here, they got this lap post right in the way. And just bear in mind, if you're coming out of here with a triple low boy or a turnpike double, uh, don't take this route, this little dirt road. Go up to here. The road's wider and a lot easier right-hand turns. Since you can see here is this post. We're going to go around it easily with this trailer. And we've got that fifth wheel forward. Uh, we're not even going to trouble it. Look at that. Awesome. So this is once again drill modding, and I imagine they're still selling the trailer. I'll have to before if I put a link in the video, is because you can still get the trailer. I should have thought of checking before I started the video.
I wonder why the camera in the it does this thing where you turn your head and it's like you turn your head and you're sticking it out the window. So for the uh, rail export and um, that we're heading to in um, Ogden, pretty sure we drive through town to get to it. It's the one I'm thinking of. Come to that T intersection where we're looking at City Hall or whatever it is. Gotta kick out of the sport pickup trucks with the great big tires set too far into the body and no front axle. <laughs> I kind of wish they had to just tone that down a little bit, made it look a little more real. They're cool old trucks, they'll bump side forwards. Quite the deal there. On the left. Keep to the right. A bunch of houses behind a. Oh, just a few. So I did a uh, trip this morning, just for fun. I, oh man, I was burned out, holy, <laughs> last night. I, uh, that Mod Studio 2, and if you're not familiar with what it is, it's the tool that a lot of us folks who do skins, or paint jobs, use to get our uh, paint job bundled in, uh, uploaded to the, uh, or make something with it that we can upload to the Steam Workshop. And uh, they're having their 10th anniversary. So they put a little competition out with, uh, the idea was put a skin on an ATS truck and trailer that is Mod Studio 2 themed. So competition closes today. As far as I know, these folks are in the UK or Europe somewhere. UK, I think. And, uh... Oh, boy. It's the end of the day there almost. Right now, while I'm recording this, you're going to be seeing this. The competition will be over in terms of uh, entry... Uh, accepting entries. So last night, I stayed up to... 1.30 in the morning because <laughs> I just wasn't happy with uh, what it was 
what I had going on. I liked the idea, but the execution was pretty bad. So I pretty much had to redo the whole thing and got to bed at 1.30 in the morning, or I quit at 1.30 actually. I didn't get right to bed. And then, um, which is awful late. Then I, in the morning, this morning, I realized I didn't like the door logo, so I fixed that up and then updated the skin on Steam. I felt kind of lazy after that. <laughs> Went and got my flu shot. Oh boy, working my right arm out here with the shifting. <laughs> then I knocked the skin together for this trip. get around this guy. I don't think so. Ah, uh, it's his lane. To let him go. Reminds me of the dump trailer. Darn it! The other one I haven't hauled in forever is the SWC uh, Dump Doker Legacy. Man, it's still my favorite trailer. I don't haul them very often, but boy, I love that trailer. I love the way it hauls. I love the loads, the weight of the loads, the quality of the trailer. It's a thing of beauty. You know, that, that configuration up there, that Load King, same configuration, but with the smooth sides. That's like a thing of beauty. Oh, this sailboat marching along there. Isn't that nice? Darn, I got more into the hood than this guy, it looks like. He's probably got less load, less load weight. He was able to go pretty good from the light. I probably have more power, but more weight on, so. Sixty-five, and he's oh shoot! There he goes, and I'm hooped. I won't get him now. Depends how long this goes on for. Maybe he'll slow down here. Now. Not gonna make the pass, I don't think. Oh, yikes! Oh, wow! <laughs> yeah, I was close. I have let this guy go. Again. Oh, shoot. Now we got these. It's all going downhill on the handcart. Well, good thing it's a fairly short trip. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what happens when the game update comes. In 149, man, there's, there's actually quite a bit of stuff going on with it. I'm sort of surprised. The weather, and then they added the used vehicles. Uh, you know, so what other little tidbits are going to be in there. 
Oh, not a scale. Oh, we're pulling in. Okay, what do we get away here? I think, what the heck was it? I think this truck and trailer weighs 50,000. You must have been a terrible boy scout. Turn around as soon as you can. So we should be at uh, 114,000 pounds. Ah, turn off, Jake. Oh, wait. That Load King, I like uh, their videos on right. YouTube left, right. showing their trailers. Gotta really check one out sometime, you guys. See all that goes on with the trailer, it's pretty amazing. 128 off by, wow, 12,000 pounds. Where'd that come from? Weird. That's weird. Turn right now. Yeah, that's why we didn't beat that guy out of town. Cool if you could paint this trailer. Continue straight on. <laughs> that guy in the Chevy. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. That guy in the Chevy. Didn't bother with the stop sign, he just rolled on through behind the guy in front of him. Well, I had a real nice drive. I mentioned this morning, I, oh, did I tell you what vehicle I drove? It was um, Blade's car carrier, the CX-11. Like I bought that thing a long time ago uh, with the promise that the trailer was coming. So you've you bought the, the truck, a Peterbilt 214, with the car carrier on it, but no trailer. And I guess it was a good deal to buy it like that, but the trailer was, you know, down the road. Jeez, I should uh, do my uh, photo here. Hang on a sec, guys. I'll be back in a sec. Whoop, maybe. All right. Oh, this guy coming up on our outside. Got a head of steam on. Keep to the right, and then turn right. Turn right now. Love that accelerating downhill. <laughs> Make some time up when you got weight on.
I got um, 355 gears in here. I didn't expect we were going to get a... I didn't expect I was going to get a bunch of uh, high-speed highway on it. get the long train mod in this profile. In fact, a whole bunch of the profiles. So in this one, I'm running JBX, um, PNG. And uh, that weather 2.9. I know I was going to stop using them all until the uh, 149 comes out just to see the difference. But it was already in this profile. I didn't bother taking it out. Yeah, 355s are a little high strung. Of course, this 3406, it always sounds like we're only going 1,550 RPM, which isn't much, but it always sounds real busy, which is weird. But I generally shift it at 16 or 1,700 max, because it just seems to, it's not doing anything, it's running out of steam. You get that shift done and it, uh, it pulls pretty good. Exit right. Yeah, this is where I thought we were going. Our shift, what I do. Oh. Forgot the range. <laughs> oh boy. Keep to the left and then turn left. Turn left now. Oh, that light just might change right away. Could have rolled up slower and stayed in gear. So is there anything we're going to do to get out of that lane? Well, yeah, it's kind of a nice trailer. Gotta see if, uh, oh, there's our cargo in there. It's got uh, some interesting loads. One of them is silt. That's interesting. So it's like you're picking it up from dredging barges. 
That would be pretty cool around the Gulf. That's kind of a thing that would be happening. The Gulf or anywhere along the Mississippi River. There's that big building at the end of the street I was talking about. Oh, it's a train station. Probably read that sign 50 times. <laughs> and did it sink in? Get ready to turn left. Maybe it will this time because I mentioned it. Yeah, trailer pulls real nice of that forward uh, fifth wheel on the truck. Get ready to turn right. But this isn't something we're gonna back up, so we're gonna have to hit the easy turn parking right thing. Now. safely at our destination. <laughs> Why don't you run in and see the shipper receiver while I regain my composure? All right, you do that. I just saw him and we're taking the easy parking spot. Right, here we are. See what we did, see what this paid for, this quarry processing stuff. 10,000, well, we didn't go real far, 255 miles. Oh, Halloween, it's Halloween today. Oh, excuse me, it means you guys are seeing it. Or watching the video with your Halloween hangovers. <laughs> I hope everybody's all right. All right, look at yeah, we're messing with the railway track here. Darn. Should have been watching for that. So once again, um, got the reflection scale and reflection in the config at three, and uh, I got the chrome, uh, or the that does the chrome, and I've got the chrome out, which affects the colors outside all those colors in the background uh, at two. So that's in the config uh, to go along with those other uh, changes we looked at or the settings we looked at at the beginning of the video. So all of this stuff with uh, hand ringing over video and performance and everything else, I imagine is going to be short lived because uh, when we're going to see what happens, there may be a whole new set of uh, considerations and settings that we need to uh, look at going forward with the uh, game update but uh, you know that has to happen first and uh, we'll, you know, we'll see how long it takes them to get there but uh, I'll check the trailer and make sure it's still available and if it is I'll put a link in the video so if you see that be sure to check the links below in the video and in particular the tutorials because they're handy and uh, whatever skins linked my ATS and ETS workshops and what else the mod links all kinds of stuff so don't forget that and in particular if you're having problems or questions with the game uh, the tutorials can be a, a huge benefit so um, yeah everything from Toby head tracking setup to skinning advanced skinning um, modifying Open depth files, uh, all kinds of stuff, all kinds. Tips and trips and ba tips and tricks on backing up double low boys and B double trailers and lots of stuff. Anyway, as always, really appreciate you hanging out with me, guys, and uh, 
Take care. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.